car gang. So we finished off our classes for the day. Well, at least Grant did. We're on our way to Fort Lauderdale. Now, when I tell you this is the only reason I came from Miami. So you guys better watch this vlog. As basic as it gets, we got our Starbucks, we're in Miami, and we're in a convertible Mustang. <laughs> so right off the gate, you guys gotta give this video a like, seriously, because I literally just wanna share it with you guys. It means so much to me, and like I can't just hold on to it myself. Like I have to show everyone. Let's play a game. You guys don't like this video until you see a car that you think is worthy of liking the video. And I guarantee you, every one of you guys is gonna end up liking this video eventually. Yeah. I just thought about this. You guys won't be able to see any of our facial expressions because we'll have a mask on. Like, sorry for that, but you'll probably see tears in my eyes. I mean, then you'll know. So what you're about to see, basically once we walk in, one of the largest flea markets ever, or drive-in movie theaters ever as well. You guys, I'm already getting the jitters. Where? Did you say the jitters? So I haven't been here in two years. Sorry if I start crying already. It says Ferrari right there. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. All right, we're going in, you guys. A divot on this parking, you guys. This car is just hanging off this curb. Multiple screens for um, the drive-in movies. As you can see them, they go all the way there. So we are in the back of the flea market, but in these buildings is where all the cars are. He has, all, these literally were his cars. Wow, he had a 918, a LaFerrari, and this is the Porsche that used to be right here from Sebring. This is a race car driver's collection, you guys. So yeah, we just saw all the cars up front, but you're telling me there's more cars? Oh yeah, in between all of these, like, yeah, like, this is like third a, party, like stores. Right. After, you know? Wow, look at this. There's a lot of shoes you have here, oh. and a lot of different, like, Leggings, clothing. Yeah. Oh my god, a lot of shoes. Yeah. Wow, this is actually kind of a cool place. I'm not gonna lie. No, it is cool. It's cool to not besides the cars too. Right. Wow. And I bet you can get stuff for like really good. Oh yeah, prices. this is like bargaining type of deals. Like right. Yeah. All right. So after we finish between all these like random stores, you know, like a wig shop next to a shoe store and stuff like that, we have a little bit of food and then. Right in the middle is the rest of the cars. Are this looks like it's straight out of the 80s, like 80s or 90s. I know. 80s or I 90s. know. So, oh, Michael Schumacher's car is right there. Where? I don't see it. You're about to see it. Oh, yeah, I think I saw the intake. Yeah. Oh my god, that's Michael Schumacher's Formula One car. No way. He still has oh, love. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you see that, that white Testarossa? That's the original one from Miami Vice, the one they used. Shut Yes. Guys, oh my gosh. Wow, LaFerrari, Michael Schumacher's car, GT3 RS, and nine, is that the 935? What about the MC12? The MC12? The Maserati MC12. Yeah. He has less than half of his original cars. So he used to have, what, a MC12, an F50, he had the 275 DTB C4, which is like a 250 GTO, $105 million car. Wow, with way racing more. history. And way, way more. He had, the, he had a 918, it's not even here anymore. Wow, they're just selling his cars like it's nothing. That's disappointing. That is, it's so sad. It's really, really, really upsetting. He still has all of his um, like scale models of his vehicles right over there. It used to be so much more, you guys. <laughs> to think of that, if we come another two years from now, it's gonna be It's what, gonna be even five? half of half, yeah. right? It's gonna yeah. be a quarter of what he originally had right, exactly. so if you guys want to come and see this stuff you guys got to come now because whoever's in charge here is just selling this stuff like it's nothing so those are both of his racing cars right over there this is a wow 365 daytona you guys that's pretty sweet this is also a rare ferrari not one of my favorites personally but and then these were literally his other cars There's he had the mc12 the mc12 he had the 918 wow all of these cars wow he sold the fxx it's bro not here anymore. he sold the fxx Okay, I think or like his wife, or whoever's in charge sold it. I don't think it. they sold it. I think they probably probably took it back. 
Yeah, for, I mean, he, they probably sold it back to Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. FXXK used to be parked right there. Now it's this, wow. And this was like the least um, exclusive car here. Right, this was the like parked right over there in the corner. And I, I didn't even see it until I like was about to leave. Right, but this is beautiful spec. It is, you know, I like the silver on silver, right? It's so beautiful. It's only missing the silver mirrors and it would be so perfect. Oh, yeah. Look at all the, look at all the spotlight, you know. Like right, all the spotlights. Now there's only one shining. That I guess that represents the uh, car collection itself. Exactly. How lively this whole place used to be. All of these games unplugged. All of these games unplugged. It's crazy. You know, you can see the car collection on here, which is pretty sweet. I just wanted to touch on the Testarossas real quickly. We're back at the top. But was crazy. look at this. You no, know, even small things like this. The logo isn't even on the car right Another last look at the second section of the cars, you guys, and the Enzo. What's up, you guys? So we're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida right now, and we are doing a quick dealership run before I have to get onto my projects. We are pulling into our first stop right now, which is H. Greg Luxury Auto Collection dealership. Something, Something yeah, we'll like see that. when we get there. It looked like badass online. They just seem to have a really nice collection. I'm keeping an eye out for it right now, but we're pulling. It's right there. H. Greg. Found it. Guys are unloading a car Here's right a now. Looking, so, nothing. We got a bunch of Porsches right now. Oh, Maybach. Yeah. Oh, Maybach. okay. This place is expensive. Look at the G wagon. Like that's a bra the bar bus. That's a bar bus four by four, you guys. Wow. Look at. It. Look at that wrap on the i8. That's really nice. So clearly they have an overflown parking, but. We made it. We're gonna go around to the front entrance. Right off the gate, you have Bentegas parked on the grass. Clearly, I don't know what that's about. Right, and then you got an Urus right there, Urus, the Ghibli. ZR1, you don't see those very often here. A whole Dodge lineup, a whole Mercedes G-Wagon lineup. This is the 15th anniversary. That's, oh wow, it is. You can tell by the stripe and it's newer. Look at these cool carbon stripes on this. Pretty pimped out cars, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at that, 50th Annie right here. Then you have your whole Mercedes S-Class. Enough talking, let's go inside. Yeah. I'm too excited. You can see they have all of their brands and logos on the wall. Yeah, I like that red top. Okay, let's get inside though. And we have this beautiful Rolls Royce. Oh, it's beautiful girl, yes. <laughs> and right here we have a beautiful nine, 599 Porsche. 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 And it has... I really just said Porsche. <laughs> Beautiful 599 Ferrari has a great sounding V12 engine. What do you notice that's weird about that uh, Ventador in back of us? Yeah, look at the calipers. Tell me if you guys like that starburst effect on this Aventador. It has crazy pink calipers on the front and back. Kind of dig it. Kind of dig it. Yeah, because it has like the best flavor of starburst on the caliber and the worst on the car. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, do you see that? What do we see? Right there. Something nose? A flat what? nose. <laughs> okay. Now, I can't believe, Christine, we are looking at a freaking flat nose Porsche. This is our second one, right? Our second? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because we've seen one, a red one on, on Woodward. This is what, 1977, 78? Yeah. Flat nose 911 Porsche. You can tell that these have a flat nose because they don't have those standard headlights that come out and the freaking beautiful vents right there on the hood. They have a similar rear like the 930 turbo we saw at the swap shop. Yes, it's like a 930 turbo, but it doesn't have that inlet intake right here. Everything else is very similar except like for that front. On top of it? SLS. <laughs> Pretty. The car is just like lined up two inches away from each and other. And they have so much more like outside of this. And trip. just like Gold Coast, they have another inventory five minutes down. And they're opening up another building. <laughs> with double the amount of, no, double, not double. It was like quadruple yeah, the amount yeah. of cars that this building has. That's insane. This 458 is weird. Cause look, it, it has the um, special yeah. vent, but it doesn't have the front bumper for the special, the side skirts or anything. Yeah, it's only, it says 458 Italia. Yeah, I know it. That's not even, they just added that. That looks really good though. 430 up top. And then a GTB 488 below it. And of course, just a random SS. A lot of cool stuff here. Then coming back here, we have this beautiful 50th Annie GTR, I think. And a 2020, 2019, 2020 R8. And then this beautiful Mercy Lago. 
Wow. You can see they have the vents opened on it. Actually, these vents open up when the car exceeds a certain speed. And of course, it's an automatic. The manuals are fairly rare. But wow, how beautiful is this, you guys? Oh. Look at these Carrera 4S's and they have a whole bunch of Porsches, a GT3 RS, another GT3. They have Canadian, they're repping Christina. <laughs> Lux. The experience was absolutely amazing. They're super, super nice here. And we, when we had a problem with Prestige Imports, they even like texted the owners and told them what happened and how we couldn't get in. And he promised us he'll make it better. All right, guys. So we left H. Greg Motors. And where are we on our way to? Fort Lauderdale Collection. Yes. So we will be there in about five minutes. So I'm excited to see what they have. And we are stuck in the middle of an intersection. We're stuck in the middle of an intersection. I hope that light does not turn. Do not turn. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, see the rims on the Tesla? They come off. Those are actually hubcaps. And yeah. you can just take them off and there's normal rims under that. <laughs> so whenever you see a Tesla, go and steal those hubcaps. I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> Fake carbon. Good choice in a car. This V6 has some get up and go to it. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Oh yeah. I like yeah. mine more, yeah. but. <laughs> wow, look at, there's Aston Martin. Rolls, ooh. But we're not here for the luxury, we're here for the exotic. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a nice neighborhood though. Like, look at this baseball field, it's beautiful. I wish I could have played on these. Some apartments, but we are almost there. It's like yeah, right, right is this right it? That's it, yeah. that's it right there. Yes sir. Ooh, I see some Ferraris, some, ooh, F8. Okay, ooh, don't look. That... You guys, look Carol at this. Carol Shelby signed this. The one, the only Carol Shelby signed it. It's got stick shift roll cage on it. This is pretty crazy. Even even the seats are like stitched with his signature. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, Let's look at the front. Crazy. Okay, you can see the side exhaust right there. This is beautiful. Look at that reflection in the window. It's a convertible, but look kind of Right. That's crazy. I wonder what it looks like with the top of. Next to it is this crazy like turbo S with a body kit. I don't know what the kit is called. You guys can comment it if you want. Look at these crazy, like, it looks like a SVJ almost, right? And you have this beautiful matte carbon on the front, more matte carbon throughout the side mirrors. Alcantara steering wheel it is automatic, but look at the back. This is an older Turbo S and look at this crazy spoiler. I do like these intakes, that's pretty sweet. But this is a sweet car. It reminds me of the Mirage GTs. If you guys know what those are with the yellow accents on the blue, it's like a Mirage GT in a Turbo S form. And then we have this like crazy, like customized 23 inch rims with matte finish on this Rolls Royce go. Look how low the back bumper on that thing goes. That's crazy. But yes, of course they have their Bentley and Rolls lineup. They have a new Porsche over there. They got the F8 over there. You see the F8, crazy. And I have a surprise for you guys. Look at this, Aventador Roadster. This is just the LP700. Roadster. Right here, LP704. And oh wow, it has it on the side. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is beautiful. The green undertone to it, the yellow is like so shimmery. I have a surprise for you guys. It's not this car. I love it, but guess what is right over there? There is some more stuff over here. Before we get to the surprise, I'm gonna show you guys. We have Turbo S, we have a 599. We have a F12. Yeah. The A12 replaced the F12, but look at this beautiful matte gray finish. We have a 360, 3.6 liter V8. This is a GT3 RS, the older model. It's a beautiful orange. Shout out Hangover. And look at that color. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's show them the surprise. What is that? I don't even know. But look at the new surprise, guys. Never seen one of these in my entire life. Like, 
This is a rough, I forgot what model. Literally, let's see, right here it says the rough CTR3 twin turbo coupe. Now this car is super rare. I've never seen a rough, but much less this model. This type of rough is very rare. It looks so much like the Carrera GT. You can see with the back. Let's look at the interior on this. Wow. That has got to be the most gorgeous interior. Look at the stick on it. Beautiful car. And you can tell rough by the signature like rough styled rims. They really like the style rim for whatever reason. Kind of basic. Yeah. That's how I differentiate rust from the standard Porsches. Look at this mini pool table. If anyone wants to play pool with me, hit me up. Because the side is pointing towards the sun. It's actually a rainbow finish That's on this actually, matte silver. That's actually that is That's beautiful. so beautiful. Wow, well, um, I'm to the last location. We are heading to the Fury, but we're heading to, what's it called? Lamborghini. I, I have no idea. Oh, oh, right now we are heading to Lamborghini of Broadward. Um, which is where they hold the most iconic supercar Saturdays that have the largest amount of cars. And that's where I saw my first like Lycan Super Sport. So Seriously? No, no, I mean, not, no, no, no. I mean, that's where I saw my first uh, Fenier Super Fenier, Store. Yeah, Fenier Super Store. Yes. And then the Lycan Hyper Store. The Lycan Hyper Store. Those are very similar. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Switch that. <laughs> so, you guys. Oh my gosh, so blurry. Guys, we made it, as you can see. Oh, the Porsche we just got off the freeway, literally. So during Supercar Saturday, this was like the main spot. All the cars would like line up all the way down here, all over here. Wow, they have a whole like car wash system. Look, a Titan in that blue, that's so pretty. That is gorgeous. In the front doors. And look at this. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, wow. It's a giant spoiler. Holy smokes. Yeah, you can see some upstairs blue as well. This is sweet, actually. Oh, oh no another way. Oh, look at this flat nose as well. It has a navy top on it. Isn't that awesome? And this is beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful turbo. As you have a whole bunch of their exclusive cars. You got another GT4 right here. Wow, this is crazy. Look at the white calipers on oh, that. Oh, wow, look at that red lining. If we're getting a Taycan ever FYI, we're getting those rims like on it. Oh, wow, it's pretty big. This right here is where I sat in my first, like, Porsche GT3. It was, like, right here. Really? Wow. They, like, open the door. Oh, dude. That's crazy. That cute little oh. piece. Look at this, this tight or, uh, the Targa right here. Porsche. Oh, yeah, I see it, the flat gray. So beautiful. Guys, you could literally see, you know those pictures, you guys, of like the car's layers and they have yeah. like space. That, literally, this is not in real life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. You can see the bottom of the car and the top. Oh my god. They have like their own little lunchroom meeting area. That simulator right there. That was opened um, during Supercar Saturday. Oh, and then this is like the top. This is to show off all the people on the freeway, what they are packing. So oh cute. my gosh. Oh. Hi. It's the Porsche dog. Please. It's the Porsche dog. So we are on our way to like Lamborghini and the rest of the places. I just want to stop. These white taillights are so beautiful. They match the rooms perfectly. And this is also a beautiful spec, but nonetheless, let's just keep going because we have so many awesome cars. These employees got some nice I rooms. I love it. That's sweet. Dang. Those exhaust pits and that tow hook. Right. This is also an employee's car. Look at the bronze on those rooms. I wow. I want to show you guys from the other side. Look Probably at this. Oh. That's crazy. And then, wow, they, 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 we, clearly we need to work at Porsche, I mean. Right. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the next dealership. Let's go around back here, let's see what's in the service center. Here and see what's over here. We got a red Urus, we got a red Aventador S. We have some more Huracans scattered back here. Doesn't look like there's too much, but let's keep going, let's keep going. Holy shit, you guys, it's a freaking Bugatti Sport. No way, it's a Chiron Sport, you guys, look at this. Look at the top. I've seen a, a few Chirons before. Christina's seen the Pure Sport, but look at the look at this. Just this is a work of art. Top speed is 260 miles an hour. This is a million dollar car, a couple million easily. That interior is something else. Wow. That spoiler is active. It can bring it up down when it breaks. It lifts up to help the aerodynamics decrease to slow the car down faster. This is unreal, and I love this beautiful C shape they have right there. Wow. I can't believe this is here. <laughs> My heart dropped when I saw this, you guys. 
check this SVJ out. It kind of like reminds you of some type of black series of like a band or something because of like all the detailing. Now moving on to the fur front, I don't really know why. Oh, that's why. Holy crap, you guys. Well, it's a winner for many things. <laughs> it's not just a hair from them. You guys, look. Sebring of 12 hours. Holy crap. That's insane. Oh, the other side said Sebring of 12 hours and this one has Daytona. So clearly this is a car that I guess Lamborghini produced to celebrate the winning of these races. You can see the forged carbon fiber. Yeah, it's like a generic interior. Beautiful. You guys, look at the two Aventadors that are outside. They look so good together. Guys, so these are, this is a Aventador. This is the Aventador SV. This is the LP750. It's a beautiful car. It has tire letter writing on it. I've never seen an LP750 with tire letters on it. I actually, I don't think I've seen it in this color before. And on top of that, I haven't seen it this dirty, but very good job on the PPF, but uh, start it on up. You can see the SV is written in carbon fiber right there. And it's a Roadster. Wow. And it's like limo tints. You can't even see through the sides. SV and a standard Aventador, the LP700 versus the LP750. This is the difference between the backs. This is the back of the Bugatti Chiron Sport. What a gorgeous looking car. I love it. I don't know if I like the Bugatti Veyrons more or the Chiron, but nonetheless, this is still a sport. It's my first time ever seeing a sport. Christina is yelling at me. She wants to go. Damn. That's her from Monte. Look at that. Look at the diffuser and stuff. He's going over the bump. Yeah. It's your, you do the pleasure. No. How was it? Like, what do you think? Um, definitely I've seen better. Cause like, it was well, yeah, you were here when it was Supercar Saturday. You were at the swap shop when, you know, all the cars were still there, but. Yeah. I guess, you know, for a motor mall, I like it, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, Look yeah. at that. They just had a car dropped off. But... All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. We are going to go to the beach next. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like. And subscribe if yes. you haven't already. Yes. But... And please give it a like for these palm trees. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and the convertible. Peace out. <laughs>